Dear ones, as you no doubt know, many people on earth live and express their soul missions through the third dimension alone. The third dimension is the physical realm, the realm of the human body and of physical objects. Yet there are other dimensions on which we as light workers may place our awareness. That is because the awareness of the light workers is multidimensional. It encompasses many dimensions. And so you will see, in the contents tab of my website, major categories for several different dimensions. There is the third dimension, which most people on earth experience quite vividly through their physical senses. Then there is the fourth dimension, which is also known as the astral realm or the land of dreams. This is a higher or less energetically dense dimension sensed by followers of indigenous religions by those psychically gifted, as explained in esoteric lore, and by all people on earth as they lie dreaming every night. And there is the fifth dimension, the arena of Christ consciousness, as expressed by Christ himself through his life on earth. This is the dimension into which all the people of earth, and earth herself, are rising. The reason for this is the process of ascension. This website is about Earth's ascension, and it provides ascension lore for all the people of Earth as they go through the ascension process. There are many dimensions higher than the fifth dimension. For the time being, I leave it to other light workers to describe these. I feel it important, as I am sure they do too, for all the people of Earth to attain a firm footing in the fifth dimension, the realm of Christ consciousness as we experience the current solar maximum, the solar maximum of solar cycle 25. It is hard to believe that humankind only began calculating solar cycles in February 1755, but there you have it. Since that long ago date, there have been but 25 recorded solar cycles. And we, dear reader, are experiencing the 25th such recorded solar cycle. As I write this blog today, there are many human beings rising from awareness of the fourth dimension to their first experience of the fifth dimension. Meantime the fourth dimension, the astral realm, strides out of their dreams and into their waking experience. They have yet to sort through the striking difference between the third dimension, the physical realm, and the fourth. They may mistake an astral vision or astral chatter as physical reality. Not only normal, everyday people may do this, but also people in authority, such as world leaders, law officers, doctors, clergy, and other people whose clear vision is important to the orderly function of the physical world, may be sorting through the differences between the third and the fourth dimensions during the current solar maximum. As they do so, let us stand back and let them have at it. In that way they can hone their discernment without injury to those in their care. Meantime we who, during solar cycle 24, or in prior solar cycles, have gained an understanding of the unique qualities of the fourth dimension, and how different it is from the third dimension, may surmount the hubbub of the third and the fourth dimensions and rest quietly in the fifth dimension, where all earthly cares may be shrugged away. Let us take up our ascension skills, and use our ascension gifts, and call upon our ascension teams to see us safely through this glorious time of highlight, of the gift of God's grace, flowing from His great spirit, sifting down through the dimensions, and into our hearts and souls. God bless you all, and keep you safe, and be with you through all your days. In love, light and joy, Alice B. Claggett. I am of the stars. May 31, 2022. The End